Hello everybody, thanks for watching this World Plan Day video. I'm Victor Fernandez de Alba and I'm going to talk to you about the membership committee of the Plum Foundation. First of all, what's the Plum Foundation? A little summary about it. Behind Plum, the project, there is a US-based 501c3 nonprofit organization. It was established in 2004 and it's the official voice of Plum and its community. Having a foundation backing an open source project is a differential factor over any average open source project. How many successful OSS projects have ended up unmaintained or abandoned because they relied on a single person or company when they lost interest in the project? The foundation mission is to protect the project, providing that it's not tied or relies in any individual or a company, but to the organization. It owns the code, trademarks, and domains, providing decision-making structure for essential community activities and holds it up together to ensure the preservation of the project. The foundation is one of the, the uh, is the one that administers the donations and how the money is also expand. It's also the duty of the foundation to put that money at work to fund sprints, events, and services. To help to promote and protect Plown and its continuous growth, development, and progress over the years. A fact that it's often underrated is that the Plown Foundation is one of the eldest active open source foundations in the world, close after the Apache Foundation. So the foundation protects Plown the software, but since some time ago, it also protects some other projects that the Plum community started along the way. At some point, this vibrant, friendly, and talented community started to have other necessities and concerns and started side projects that complemented and improved Plum over the years. This is the case of Guillotina and Volto, but also other broader communities like the Zob community are now under the Plum Foundation umbrella. The most important asset of the foundation are the people, its members. The foundation represents them. The membership is formed by individuals who are selected based on their participation in the community. Right now, we, the foundation have almost 100 active members from 35 countries. The members yearly elect the board of directors of the Plum Foundation and the members can also vote when requested on important matters that concerns the foundation and its community. So what do you have to do for becoming, becoming a member of the Plum Foundation? There's a membership application process and I want to explain you how it works. So the Plum Foundation looks for members that have made significant and enduring contributions that benefit the general Plum community. This statement does not mean that you have to be a Plum community rock star, nevertheless, although the previous statement sounds daunting, don't, please don't think it is. It simply means that the candidates should be involved in Plum previously, somehow, and with a certain recurrence. These are some examples. For example, uh, organized participants participated or attended a Plum community event, events, local or global, contribute to code, documentation, design, or Plum Foundation software, create uh, open source code to extend the software, Plum uh, the software, create content to promote Plum, for example, making blog videos, talks, seminar, trainings, participate in Plum teams, committees, or the board and also help our other community members on our IRC Slack forums or Stack Overflow. So these are some examples and we are searching for all types of profiles, not only coders. So don't think that you have to be a coder to be a member of the foundation. So you can nominate yourself by Plum.org. Just go to this URL, authenticate on Plum.org using your GitHub account and then create a membership application. Add as much detail as you can uh, of yourself. Name other Plum Foundation members that second your application. You only have to uh, find some in the chat, for example, in Slack or in Discord and also ask for it. 
uh, that uh, support your, your application. And after filling the application form, just submit and then wait. So how the membership is evaluated? There is a membership committee and this committee is responsible for reviewing membership applications. And they are seven to 11 members, 11 uh, selected each year among Plum Foundation members. And for this period, the 21-22, uh, uh, I am the co-chair uh, along with uh, Kim and Nguyen. And these other people are also members of the committee. It's Andy Leaf, Asko Soka, Leonardo Caballero, Kim Polisen, Peter Olser, and William Finney. How work the review process work? So the membership committee will review the application sent every three months. An application is judged based on its merit. The committee could request more information from the applicants and each committee member vote uh, secretly on the application. Uh, then once all these votes are collected and a final candidate list is uh, arranged, then this list is submit uh, to the uh, summit its recommendation to the Plum Foundation Board. Afterwards, the final decision, decision is made. So every application submitted by the membership committee is discussed and voted by the Plum Foundation Board members. If the application is approved by the board, then uh, the secretary contacts uh, and informs them to, uh, of their uh, new membership status and adds them to the Plum Foundation membership list. And after a while, the board uses the meeting minutes as the formal announcement of the new members. So I play now. I mean, it's easy. It don't uh, be uh, afraid of the process. I mean, don't be afraid that your contribution is not enough. But, I mean, we tend to uh, think that we didn't do enough things to uh, became uh, a member, but that's not true. I mean, uh, everybody can be a member of the foundation if the requirements are met. Uh, yeah. This is the URL of the uh, Plone.org uh, application form. Go there, uh, fill it, uh, send it, and wait. Uh, for the resolution. Uh, thanks for uh, watching and see you soon.